Guys, what's up? It's Josh. How are you? I hope everybody's doing great. I hope uh, everybody's staying healthy, uh, first and foremost, because it is obviously some crazy times out there. Now, I wanted to do this video, which is now the fourth video, on the Light Phone 2. I wanted to do another uh, video more on, on my behavior and how I'm kind of been handling this. I'm really sorry, by the way, um, because I haven't been like giving regular updates, right? I've, I've been, again, trying to unplug as much as I can. And it almost seems like I've become, I, I, don't, I don't know. It, you go through these very odd phases, I will say this, okay? So when I first, when I first turned off the iPhone, right? I shut it off, got got done with it and put the SIM card in the light phone too. After that happened, there was a very odd anxiety that came across, okay? Um and it it would come and go, but it was almost like for the first few days, it was almost like always in the back of my mind, right? Like I'm missing something. I should be checking social media. Oh, I wonder what's going on uh, on Twitter or, or Facebook or what have you, right? It's, it's a very weird feeling. But this has also then become kind of a, an aha moment for me, right? If you will, um, where you, you realize that this is what you've become. This is now the animal that social media and, and our phones and all of this tech, which is so cool. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. Like, I love, I love tech stuff. I love it. I love the fact that I can type in an address and it'll tell me where to go, turn by turn and how many feet or miles or what have you. I love that. Um, but it is something also that can be fairly toxic, especially then when you start talking social media and all of that. Because getting on Facebook, just for an example, the, the, the false information and misinformation that is being spewed out of everybody's mouth is almost sickening to tell you the God honest truth. And I, I didn't want any more part of it. I really didn't. I don't like, uh, I don't like to be in the middle of that. And just even reading the comments, you feel uh, a response in some way. And I wanted to, I wanted to get rid of that as much as I could. So like I said, as far as this experiment is, has, is going, like I'm, I'm pretty much coming to the end of it to tell you the truth. But that's one thing that I wanted to really get off my chest is to tell you that initially what happens is you get rid of the smartphone and all you have is this, right? And it, it's, a, it's a learning experience, it really is. Like you're, you're holding your phone upright, you know, like, let me just uh, get this thing going here. But you're holding the phone, you know, upright or what have you. And then let's say here, like I'm gonna text my friend Brad. And it's, we, you, you've got this stuff on there, whatever, but then if you go to type a message, it automatically takes you into landscape type of mode where you then have to use it such as this. And then when you're done, you hit the little button at the bottom over here and it'll send it off, right? Um, there is a learning curve, like <laughs> on, on the iPhone or whatever, like typing and all of that, it seems very intuitive and it almost knows what you're gonna do before you do it. And for the most part it does. Um, but like with this, you have to be very deliberate, like what you're typing. There's no cursor that you can move back. Oh, I misspelled this. No, you gotta get rid of everything up until that mistake and then go on from there. That was tough for me as well. But again, like initially, initially getting everything switched over and then going about your daily life with this phone is pretty cool. But again, at the same time, you're going to feel anxious. For like the first week, you're gonna be like, I'm missing something. 
there's something going on right now and I'm not a part of it. I'm missing this, I'm missing that, um, blah, blah, blah. Come to find out you're really not missing a damn thing, <laughs> like, at all. Um, and again, like I said, I allowed myself 90 minutes per day, which to some seems like an awful lot, and to others it seems like not enough. Uh, but 90 minutes, 30 minutes before or after every single meal, I was to get on to social media and address like messages, things like that, um, or whatever, different posts and things like that. And if I had anything to, to post about, plug about, whatever, get it done. Um, that seemed more than sufficient. In fact, sometimes it only took me about 10 minutes and I was like, okay, I'm done with that until the next time. So. It is what it is, it's personal preference. But I would suggest anybody that wants to give this a shot, definitely do. Um, it's, I, and, and I would absolutely go out on a limb and I would say this, it has changed the way I look at different things. It has changed my behavior. It has changed my attitude towards a lot of different things. And for that, I also will say that I'm not going to stop using this. I am going to continue using this because um, I think it's a smart piece of technology, especially for people who want to just get rid of the noise. So again, I will put links like I have before in the description of the video. Uh, if you guys want to go and check this out, like I said, it, it does cost $350. It's $350. That's it. And for some, again, that's gonna seem like a lot of money for something that does so little, right? But for others, it's gonna be like a really good deal because for a typical smartphone or what have you, that's going to cost $1,000, at least 700 all day. 700 to 1100 $1,200. And this, is 350. My personal opinion, it's a solid trade-off. Solid trade-off. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. Um, I may pop back on every once in a while to readdress something else. If an, if an update or something like that comes out, we do know that, yes, there's going to be uh, navigation added to this, which I'm very excited about. Also, music in some form, like a music player in some form will be added to this as well. I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait for that. Um, again, I need navigation everywhere I go. If I'm like crossing the street, I have to have it. I'm, I'm very directionally challenged. Um, but regardless, I hope everybody's doing great. I hope you guys like what you see here on the channel. If you, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Um, at least give me a like or whatever if you enjoyed the content here. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.